Finance Minister Praveen Gordon has really emphasized how government and the private sector need to come together to grow jobs. The Cape Crafts and Design Institute has really been at the forefront of this. CEO Eric Elk, welcome to our studios in Cape Town. Thank you, Matthew, for having me yeah. here. Yeah. So how has the, the CCDI and uh, the Treasury Jobs Fund um, uh, really changed things for, for, for small businesses? So um, we've just finished a, um, a very successful jobs fund project, um, which we completed in December this year. Um, and it was a, essentially a 14 and a half million rand fund. And we worked with 45 companies and we helped together with them create 476 jobs. Um, so these are full time, permanent, sustainable jobs. And we did it in a way where we, where we worked with these companies to invest in, in um, growth, opportunities um, that would that would obviously result in in jobs growth doesn't always result in you know growth in companies doesn't always result in jobs but our focus in this instance was was it needed to be to be a job at the end of the day um, and I think what was different about what what we did firstly we we function in the in the creative industries so we're looking at small businesses that that are that in, in a way have a have a creative value add um, so your furniture designers, um, um, handbag manufacturers, jewelers, um, you know, that, th that sort of range of, of businesses. Um, and I think we also, we also work in a space when, when, where funding doesn't normally touch because these might be, you know, like a two-person entity that wants to create three or four jobs. Um, and you know, if most most sort of funding institutions aren't working in that space because it's too much effort, es essentially. Um, so I think that was what made us makes us unique. Um, and we see we see scale in in working with lots of small businesses, not necessarily with a couple of of businesses that would would create lots of jobs. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, and it's great to see government coming to the party to really help these kind of initiatives, but how is the private sector playing a role in this in terms of funding? The private sector is being encouraged um, to, to play a role in enterprise development and small business development through the BE codes. Um, so they need to spend money on enterprise development, supplier development and procurement. Um, and in a way those codes are really smart because it's, it's trying to, to create a situation, encourage a situation that, that isn't happening organically, which is a, a real pity. Um, and and that's really where the private sector has a has a signif significant role to play. Um, you know, one of the one I mean, I guess a couple of challenges that small businesses um, deal with. You know, we, we kind of know we know about them, but probably you know access to finance is, is one of them. But in our experience, quite often is that is that the the, the desire for funding or for money is hiding other problems in the business. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually, if you work with, with businesses to figure out, you know, what is their product? Are they getting the product to market at the right, um, at the right price? Are they going to the right market, etc.? You can you can deal with you can solve some of the sort of alleged kind of financial issues. Um, but the other big constraint is market access, um, and and a lot of small businesses struggle to to gain access into markets because the market space is dominated by by, by larger corporates. Um, so, so I mean, that's you know. That, so, in a way, those are two roles that the that the corporate and the private sector can play. Is is how can they open up market access to small businesses, either into their supply chain or into other um, into other markets, and how can they use their ED and SD spend to support um, business growth and business development? So now you're in the second phase where where you're applying for another jobs fund through Treasury, looking to create 600 jobs. Um, where are you at that and how can the private sector play more of a role? So our, our second um, jobs fund application, um, the, the proposal is for a 32 million rand fund um, and we have to bring 50% of that fund to the table. Um, so we've got to find 16 million rand. We've raised 10 million rand, we need to raise another 6 million. We're talking to a number of, of, of possible um, partners but essentially that's where we need the private sector to come on board. Um, and what we what we will be doing with this fund is is we're working in a in a kind of combination of providing grant funding 
um, loan funding, working capital, and equity. So the grant funding essentially is kind of free money for the, for the businesses, although the way we work is they need to put in 20% of everything that we put in. So they're putting, um, they're investing their own, their own funds um, into, their, into their own growth. But for that, they're accessing um, grant money. And then the loans and, and equity and working capital would be where we can start generating a return of the investments we're making in these companies. And our idea is to build our own sort of in investment part that we can then carry on investing in the SMEs.